What up, Sneak Geeks? It's Boodish. Dropping a cool little feature on you here. A little SB love today. Uh, trying, to get a, trying to get Mike into a little bit more of the SB side of things. Nike's done some super cool collaborations in the past and probably, in my opinion, without a doubt, the coolest one of all. You can say Supreme if you want. A lot of sneaker heads and hype beasts will say Supreme. I think the coolest one probably is Concepts. Uh, you remember them from the SB Lobsters, if you're an SB guy, or the Ugly Sweaters, which is sitting right behind me. I've been looking for those blacks, though. But I think this Holy Grail collaboration that they did is probably the coolest because of how different it is. And if you like, I'll get more intense on the details in a second, but just look how it's such a cool shoe. I've been talking to Mike for a long time that the coolest thing about SBs or Dunks compared to maybe some of the Jordan fans out there is that they put a lot more time and effort into their style into the art form that, that comes about it. And I think it's super cool this time. They didn't really miss a beat. The coolest thing, um, so of the Holy Grail collaboration that Concepts put out, they did the stained glass high, they did the SB low, and then the Janowski as well. These, in my opinion, have gotta be considered easily the cream of the crop because there's no doubt about how intense each detail of the shoe is, in, all the way down from the custom midsole inside to the outer laying where no one shoe is the same. I should say no two shoes are the same. That would probably sound more like, logical. Every shoe is different uh, from the way that they custom did the stained glass appeal, and that took a lot of effort that Nike did, uh, custom laying all different forms of leather into this bonded kind of plastic material. Now, for the comfort and the wear, now, if you're gonna rock these, it's important to know that the plastic, I'm gonna get a little bit more, this little plastic inlay right here is a little different than a lot of Nikes are in their past, but, it still looks pretty comfortable. As you can see, the puffed out tongue and the puffed out inside is pretty standard for an SB. The custom design though is just second to none. In my opinion, this is definitely one that you're gonna rock one and stock one because if there's no two that are the same, why wouldn't you, number one? But number two, it's a shoe that's definitely gonna catch eyes on the street, but I think it also looks good in the art form collaboration that I got rocking behind me right now. So you're definitely gonna catch me rocking these on the streets of Denver or LA, as I like to escape to from time to time. But please make sure you check out more videos on A Sneaker Life. It is the dopest channel around. Uh, and make sure that you hit me up and say dope shoes because that's the dopest shit you can say to me, obviously. Uh, but check it out. Follow me on Instagram at Budish, B-U-D-I-S-H. Might have to change my nickname now that he's giving me nicknames every other day. But uh, check it out and find me. Help me find some of my grails. That's what I really want. But Sneak Geeks, it was a pleasure breaking these down for you. Hopefully I can do some more. Go pick up the Concepts SB collaboration that dropped already on the 25th. Nike's dropping these ones coming this weekend right now.